everybody, welcome back to City Skylines and the Green Power scenario. I almost said challenge again, like I usually do. Today, what I'm hoping to get done is a little bit of an overhaul to some of the metro that we have in the city. Because there's one particular, I'm holding up two fingers, there's one particular metro station that I really want to use that I think you guys are really going to love. I'm sure you can guess which one it is. Let's just jump right into it and start overhauling the metro and get people moving around a little bit better because that seems to be a big struggle within what's the city called what what uh, i can't see it we've got the cinematic mode up um greensville i'm pretty sure let's 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 get into it i'm also thinking that at some point today we can go ahead and lay out some office zoning down here near all of the helicopters i think that would be kind of a cool place for it especially since we have a metro connection down here so we've got roads in here, we've got the keys in here, and at some point, like I said, we'll come down here and we'll lay all of that out. But right now, I want to kind of deal with some traffic problems. So as you know, we've got two bridges that cross over this river. We've technically got three. This is technically one of our bridges, but we'll ignore that one. I want to put a third one in here, and I've realized I can do this in kind of an interesting way, but we're going to have to sacrifice the fishing industry, so... We're just going to go ahead and do that. We're going to get rid of the fishing industry. And I'll put it back in at some point. Probably maybe today, to be honest. Because I do like having it, even if it is relatively useless. It's it's nice to have. Uh, but what we're going to do is essentially come in here. We can... Uh, well, we don't need to do anything to these avenues. Because they are fine in terms of zoning. And what we're going to do is grab ourselves a... What kind of avenue do we want to go for? What kind of bridge do we want to go for? American Six Lane Stone Bridge. I don't think we've used the American Six Lane Stone Bridge, have we? Did we use it this way? What is this one? Oh, we did. Okay, what else? What other options do we have? European Two Lane, European Four Lane, European Six Lane. Okay, hold on. No, we didn't use the American one. We will use the American one. Okay. So my thinking is plain and simple that we go ahead and bring some kind of bridge out here right so let's turn off road guidelines let's turn off road whatever snapping grid snapping whatever it might have been and bring that out to there that is a bit steep though isn't it can i get that to be less ridiculously steep by any chance i actually is that oh that is considerably less steep okay uh so we're gonna do that and then what i want to do is come down here and pretty much do exactly the same thing now I don't know if those are even heights, but we're going to have like a, a curvy bridge is is what we're going to have. Not really sure how we're going to do it yet. We'll figure that out, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to having a curvy bridge. I think it's just going to be nice, to be honest with you. I really do. You know, honestly, I don't think this looks too bad from up here. It's, it's a pretty good looking bridge. It does what it needs to do. It's got traffic going across. It's actually got a lot of traffic going across it, so... Honest, I've I've got nothing I really need to complain about if I'm if I'm honest with you. I mean, I I I love road placement in city skylines. Oh, I love it. I had no control over this. None at all. My Brit the curve is perfect. The rest of it, whatever you, <laughs> you would describe this as, is not. Okay, this is going to be good enough, I think. I, I'm not going to spend too much longer getting this thing perfect, because I just I just can't. It's, it's a little wobbly, but for the most part, this bridge works, and that's what I need it to do. It's going to be another way for traffic to get across from one side of the city to another. It's hopefully going to take away some of the traffic from this bridge and that bridge and everything else. It's probably not going to do too much for traffic coming off of the highway, but I'm not really too worried about that. It's it's fine, is what it is. I'm also thinking that while we have this demand for industry right now, it might not be a bad idea to go ahead and put some offices along the waterfront over here. So just something a bit like that. And then these weird gaps that we have, we can just go in and put some paths that go from one area to another. Or what we could do and I, I don't know how good of an idea this necessarily is, but I'm going to do it anyway. Take that guy out, and then just put the avenue back in there, and it should actually fix at least some of the zoning, which is kind of what we want it to probably do. Uh, so we'll do the same on this side as well. 
just fixing at least some of the zoning. These bits are going to be weird regardless of what we do, and that's okay. Uh, these bits are going to be weird regardless of what we do, and that's okay. So yeah, we can just put some uh, office zoning along the waterfront. We can put some paths in there and let people just kind of walk around a little bit and see how that goes for them. So we'll go ahead and turn off guidelines, and basically these guys are going to go from there and I need to turn off uh grid so you're gonna go like that and then on this side you're gonna do sort of the same thing going out to about there and I I can't go underneath these guys but what I might be able to do is a tunnel I say might be able I should be able right we we should be able to do a bit of a tunnel here that just goes underneath the bridge and lets people kind of go from one side to the other it's a little ugly looking but to be fair so am I and I get by, so, you know, the tunnel will... <laughs> wow, that, there was there was no punchline there. That was just completely self-deprecating. Um, that was... That was... <laughs> Jesus. Oh, okay. I, that even caught me off guard. Um, <laughs> sorry. There was absolutely no punchline to that. That was just straight up... Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> I just really really threw myself off completely with that one wasn't funny it was just insulting to me oh my god okay um <laughs> that was terrible oh good lord um what was i doing i was putting i was putting like roads or something in here wasn't i i was i was doing paths um yeah we'll just <laughs> oh god i'm okay we're fine uh, this isn't, I'm not laughing, I'm crying. Okay, so that's all done. We do have a little bit of flooding over here, which is great, I guess. Uh, we also need to go ahead and do some stuff with buses, because... You know what? Let's, let's redo... How many buses? We have a lot of bus lines. Let's redo all of the bus lines, because I'm, I'm gonna be redoing Metro anyway, so we might as well. And what I'm thinking we can do here is... Start down this way, going up this main road, stopping, you know, relatively regularly. And we can just punch straight through here, stopping again pretty regularly around this place, kind of coming back, you know, stopping there again, stopping here, stopping down that way. And we'll just have a bus line that crosses the entire city is, is basically what we have. Although annoyingly, it has to loop around in a bit of a stupid way. So... Let's have it go there instead. And let's have that one go there. So that it still kind of loops around in the same way. It's just a little... You know, that it, it just does, you know, it does that. It has like a weird loop thing at the end of each one. Uh, what we're also going to do, I think, is a couple of bus lines that just cut across here. The way we had before. So we can go to about there. We can go to... Where does this one go? Uh, about there. And we'll basically just loop around kind of a good chunk of what we have going on. And we'll have another one that kind of mirrors this as well. So it goes to that spot and up to there. So that'll be fine. That's going to nicely loop around that area. We'll do the same here. Okay, the buses are done. They're pretty much doing everything that I need them to do. We've got this one going back and forth the way it should be. We've got a bunch of buses looping around a bunch of different areas as well. They're not exactly going to be permanent though because now i want to get into what i really want to do today which is i want to come in here and i want to tear out all of this zoning right there so all of that needs to go and then i'm actually thinking given that we have this new not new but we have you know a good chunk of industry over there i'm gonna move some of this i'm gonna i'm gonna clear out actually another chunk of this area so about that much because I want to push the industry back, and oh my god, those buses. That's, uh, <laughs> that's a lot of traffic, man. That is a, that's a lot of buses returning and a lot of new buses going out. Good lord. Uh, but yeah, I want to clear some of this space out so that I can kind of get a better idea of what's going on. Now, we do have geothermal plants in there, which is a bit of an issue, because I don't want to move those. So what we're going to do is I'm going to move that area's entrance to this road to have a little bit less traffic here. And I'm thinking that we can probably get away with 
maybe putting a little bit more traffic on this road over here. So we're going to kind of extend you like that. And then this is going to come out for a little bit. And this is kind of where things are going to get a little bit weird as well. I'm going to go ahead and delete the metro lines because this station is one that I want rid of. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the a better one. One that I like a lot more. This guy. Now, that just looks cool. That just looks so cool to me. I absolutely love it. Except for the fact that it is ever so slightly messing with the terrain. So we're going to we're going to need to fix that is what we're going to need to do. So let's go and do some leveling. Let's bring the terrain up to the same height as the intersection, I guess. I'm not too sure how well this is necessarily going to work, but we'll find out what happens if I do. Let's see. Can I, what way do I want to put this thing that way? It still doesn't really work, does it? It just cuts away at the terrain. Okay. I'll tell you what we're going to need to do. We're going to need to clear out more of this. So we're just going to clear out all of that. And we're going to have to redo those intersections. So all of this traffic, all those roads need to go away. And what we're going to have to do is flatten down to about that height. Just to make sure this actually works the way I want it to. And then what we do is just bring everything back in. So this guy is going to come up to here. We're going to have you come over to here. You're going to come in there and you're going to come down that way. And now, uh, well, that's not perfect, but it's it was getting there. Uh, if we do that, still really not perfect. Good Lord. Uh, let's flatten that properly then. So all of you to that height and then you come in like that. Much better. This side is pretty good as well. And looking at it, I think we actually need to do that. No way. Yeah, we absolutely do. Uh, over here, do we want to upgrade these roads to handle a bit more traffic? Like maybe that middle road up to here, maybe even further should be six lanes. I think it might be worth trying. I, I don't know how good of an idea this is actually going to be, but we'll give it a shot and we'll see what happens if we have this middle road able to handle a bit more traffic. I, I don't... I don't know that it's a, an excellent idea, but it's what we're doing. I'm also thinking the road up here really shouldn't have grass on the sides of it, but it's gonna because it just looks nicer, especially with the, the bus stops because they kind of like properly cut away at things. So that's that's what we're doing. Now, let's go ahead and just clear out all of these buildings that we're not uh, looking at anymore. This guy can be zoned again. And that's pretty much where I'm wanting that thing. So what I want to do with it is I want to come in here with this road on the right and I want to do this is is what I'm thinking. I want to put roads like right up against the thing, although that looks terrible. Ooh, that does look terrible. Okay. Maybe we don't do that. <laughs> maybe maybe we don't do the thing that looks terrible. Um what could we do with it? I mean, we can sort of flatten the terrain a little bit. Maybe this guy needs replaced. That might be the way of it, honestly. Just sort of flatten this a little bit and then put that road back in. Hopefully that lets me do what I'm wanting to do here. Because I want, I do want roads right against it. I think having a little bit of a gap between this thing and some buildings is going to be pretty decent. And that looks about right. So that'll kind of do the job. We have this road kind of raised up a little bit. That's fine. And that looks cool. I hope I've got the right orientation for it. So we get three going that way. We get two going. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, so all I need to do at this point is connect it back up is, is what I need to do. So let's grab this guy. And basically what we're going to do is run it like... Oh, what do you mean too steep? Oh, it has to go lower. Okay, uh, basically what we're going to do, grab you, bring you over to about there bring you to about there and then connect it. And that's one connection to the station, which is kind of fantastic. What we could do is connect this guy so this line can run straight through. That might not be a bad idea. But looking at it, this guy could come straight in and go straight to the middle platform if I really wanted it to. So you would have to transfer if you were crossing the city, which seems a little bit silly. So I don't think we are going to necessarily do that. I think we should maybe make it so that you don't have to do a stupid transfer. So 
what way do we want to do this guy coming in here? I guess maybe we just do a bit of a curve so it sort of goes, you know, maybe something a bit like this a little bit. I don't know. Why is that, sl why is that slope too steep? There we go. So something a bit like that. Turn on guidelines and then bring it like that. And I guess that's okay. It's, it's not too bad. That'll kind of do the job. Then down here is essentially going to be a case of bringing a line from you straight to, I want to say about there. And then if I just do a nice little simple curve going like that, that should be fine. It's maybe a little bit sharp. It's not really that sharp. Let's be honest. That's fine. So that does the job. I have totally messed up my new bus lines, but we have a shiny new Metro. So that's all right. Let me just fix my bus lines because they're slightly annoying me. Oh, they're fine. I think. Oh, wait a minute. What have I just done? What have I just... What have I just... Oh, no. Hold on a minute. You're not supposed to be doing that. Uh, and then you're supposed to be going... Is that, have I... Oh, no. Have I messed up a bus line here? I have messed up... Wait, what are, what are you supposed to be doing? I don't know what that line was supposed to be doing. Um... I think... You were supposed to be going up there. Genuinely have no... What have I done? Oh, uh, what is that overlap, though? What What have I actually done here? Um, You're not supposed to have a stop down here, are you? Or are you? No, you're not supposed to be stopping here. Hold on a minute. So move you. Get rid of that. Move you back. Now it's normal? Now it's normal. Okay. I think. I think everything's fine. We're not going to stress about it. My bus lines are okay. Uh, this guy is fine and the everyone else is fine as well. Right. Let's get some metro lines in here. Let's just do something plain and simple from point A to point B the way we always do. Uh, so you're going to come up to there and you are just going to run straight back down towards the university. Uh, you, on the other hand, are going to come in and have just a great time just crossing the city back and forth, even going to the new area, which honestly, I might put another metro station into because looking at it, we could do like a little one up here, just a little normal one, but just like right in that corner, we could do like a tiny little metro station, which honestly, I wouldn't be against doing, so we're going to do it. Uh, now, let's bring you down to about there. And let's just see what kind of little curve we can do here. So we can do something like that. And then we can do something like that, I guess. And I think that's okay. I don't think it's, it doesn't need to be too fancy. Uh, then we just have a couple of stops here. And now traffic, traffic people can get through there. So let's go ahead and actually zone this area as well. Let's just put some, I don't know, um, commercial here. Put some shops into the area. I think that'll be kind of cool. We can do some uh, offices there as well. And we'll just do offices for the rest of it. And I think I think having a little bit of commercial out here is probably for the best. I mean, I've I've been to a couple of... Well, I've, I've never been to an area like this that has this many helipads, to be fair. But I've been to a couple of... like I, I would think of this as like a really like functional area. There's a lot of buildings that do something. I mean, every building does something. But you know what I mean? It's very functional. I've been to a couple of areas like this, and usually somewhere in the middle of it, you're going to find like a little shop that's like, hey, man, we're here. Come and buy overpriced whatever we're selling. That's that's usually the way of it, because it's like, you know, the only customers are the people that work in the buildings in the areas. So, of course, everything's overpriced, I guess. I don't know what the logic is. I'm just I'm, I'm speaking for me. And it's usually weird shops as well. Thinking about it. It's usually they're usually the shops that have like, uh, like, no, I say weird. Weird in the context of the shops that you might be used to. So, like, every shop that I go into around where I live, you can be pretty sure of what you're going to be buying. Except for the shops in these weird, like, industrial areas. They're usually getting their stock from a completely different supplier to absolutely every other shop in the country. Because, like, their stock is largely in, like, German or something like that. Which, I mean, if you live in Germany, then that might not be such a such a, a, an abnormal thing for you. 
uh, to be fair, which, uh, you know, fair enough. Uh, but for me, it's, it's, it's always interesting. And I'll tell you something as well about all of these, these shops bringing their stock in. It always tastes different too. I'm a big fan of energy drinks. I don't know how many people know that about me. I think I've, I've talked about certain brands of energy drink in the past. I'm going to avoid naming the brands because technically that'd be advertising and they're not paying me. So energy drink brands, you know who you are. <laughs> I know, I know you're watching. Um, yeah, no, they, they taste different. The imported versions of energy drinks. I don't know why I'm going on about this, but it's true. The imported versions of energy drinks taste different to the ones manufactured here in the UK. Do they taste worse? I don't really know, but they do taste different. They absolutely taste, <laughs> this doesn't matter. They absolutely taste different. And this is like, I, I have got to the point with certain, certain energy drinks, certain brands where, <laughs> this isn't even a, this isn't even a bit, this is true. There are certain brands of energy drink where I can tell whether or not it's an imported version or one that was made in the UK uh, because of how it tastes. I don't know if that's probably not a, not really a bragging point, to be honest with you. That's it's kind of maybe a little bit sad, but it's true. Genuinely serious. I can genuinely tell the difference um, based on how they, uh, how they taste. So there's a fact about me you might not have needed nor cared about, but it's true. Genuinely, genuinely true. Uh, now here's what I want to do. <laughs> that's, that, that is, that's my rant for the day. Uh, what distance is this thing? What is that? One, two, three. I don't know. Is that, is that a right angle? That looks like a right angle. Um, no, that is genuinely true though. I, I can tell the difference based on how they taste. And sometimes they, you know, it's, it's depending on where it's imported from. It depends on whether or not it's a great taste. Uh, in, to be honest, some of the German imports for certain energy drinks taste better. Just things in general taste pretty good. I've been to Germany once and it was a great time. It was actually, when, when did I go to Germany? Why did I go? I should remember this. It was Gamescom. I think it was 2018. Paradox flew me out to play Stellaria. Question mark? I think it was Stellaris on PS4. I think it had just come to console at the time. That was a really good experience. That was a really fun time. First time in Germany. First time at a convention. Um, I felt really, really lucky and grateful to be there. It was just, it was a great time. I think I've told some stories from Gamescom before. So I'll not, I'll not. <laughs> I think I mentioned it at the start of this series. I'm already, you know, we're not even done with this series. I'm already repeating myself from things I said in this series. But, you know, if, if you've been watching the channel for a while, then you know my fear, right? My, my biggest fear, not my fear, that's the wrong way of putting it, but something I'm very conscious of is that I have a very limited number of stories and that City Skylines videos often become story time. So I, I'm very conscious that I might have told all of my Gamescom stories in City's videos before, but if I have, Am I, am I about to tell, am I, am I about to tell my Gamescom stories? I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm about to tell my Gamescom stories. I, I feel, I feel like I was building up to saying I'm not going to tell the stories, but I feel like we're about to tell the Gamescom stories. Okay. So I'm completely certain I will have told this one before because it's too good of a story not to tell. I was sitting, it was, it was after Gamescom. It was closing night. And I'd been there for a couple of days. I was brought there by Paradox to play Stellaris on PS4 because Stellaris Console Edition was, I think, releasing at the time. I don't know if it was out yet or if we were playing a uh, pre-release version. I, I don't remember at all. But I was there to play Stellaris on console and I'd done that. There was a, there was a stream with me and Gaming FTL where we both wore anime wigs, which was a great time. I think there's a picture of me wearing them somewhere, but I, I don't know where exactly, but I know it exists. Uh, regardless, it was the end of Gamescom and we'd all gone out for some dinner, myself and a few guys from Paradox and a couple of a journalists or two. And we were sitting like a 10 minute walk away from the convention center. 
and it was it was beautiful man it's one of my favorite memories from any of the trips that i've taken as a part of this job and i i feel so lucky to like get to do that but th th this isn't this isn't going to turn into like a a, a a cry fast about how grateful i feel i do feel very <laughs> i do feel very grateful but i'm not going to turn this into like i'm so grateful you guys um the point being uh <laughs> the point of the story being that so we we go out for dinner and we're like let's go and get some we're, we're in germany so naturally let's go get some like mexican food and um we went to this place near the convention center and it was great it was a really good time uh the food was admittedly not to my taste i'm, I'm not really one for i'm not really one for mexican food to be to be honest with you it's just not really my 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 thing so I didn't really eat much, but I was enjoying the company. I was enjoying, uh, I think I had like a, I think I had a cocktail. I'm not really sure what I would have had to drink. I don't know if the place did actually serve alcohol or not, but regardless, it was a great time. So we're sat around, we're, we're enjoying, you know, the company. We're enjoying the fact that, you know, Cologne is full of gamers and it's just a really great environment to be in. It was a really, really positive uh vibe about uh, about cologne at the time so yeah we're just we're just vibing chilling you know enjoying the last night of gamescom a lot of us were heading home the next day uh myself included so it's just a great time and we're sitting there we're laughing we're telling jokes you know just hanging out the way we were and uh the whole time we're, we're sitting by this main road um so pretty regularly there's the sound of a siren going past because there's a hospital relatively close to where we were so there was like one time that we heard this siren and it was getting closer and closer and then we saw an ambulance pull up and we're like laughing and joking and and kind of being like you know we're we're making not making fun of people in need but we're you know we're just having a laugh i don't think we actually made any jokes at the expense of the ambulance but we're laughing and joking and all that we're being quite loud because we're outside and the ambulance pulls up and we're still like reeling from some joke that's been told and we're like laughing quite loudly and we see the ambulance crew like get out of the ambulance and i turn around and about five feet maybe seven feet from where i was sat someone had passed out and was like needing urgent medical attention so we're we're sitting there now this does get better we're sitting there uh we had been laughing our asses off while someone's having a legitimate medical emergency what became sort of the the cherry on top of all of this was that not maybe 15 minutes prior to this there was a rickshaw that went past with uh, a bunch of led lights on it um rgb lights because gamers and uh the the person paddling it was dressed up like a like luigi it was a sexy luigi but it was luigi that much was recognizable so you've got this rgb gamer rickshaw going past blasting like rave music dubstep whatever it might have been and wouldn't you know that the RGB Disco Gamer Rave Rickshaw would come back around as someone's having a medical emergency with an ambulance crew attending the scene and it just goes slowly past with the music just blaring as loud as it ever had been. It was such a surreal thing because you've got this person having a legitimate, medi legitimate medical emergency and on the other side you have Sexy Luigi having a rave. It was it was wild man it was it was a great if that's the gamescom experience let me tell you the second i can go places i'm going back to gamescom anyway i've gone ahead and redone the zoning over here i've pushed the industry off to the right a little bit i've moved some geothermal plants so they're a little bit further to the right as well we've got some commercial building up here plenty of offices and unfortunately traffic is still about as bad as it's ever been I think it's fair to say that this particular solution for getting on and off of a highway is not a great one, but it's fine. It's fine. It it does the job 
in uh, in a fine way. I'm not really too worried about it. I've also just like slightly, yeah, just a little, little something, a little something in the microphone there. Um, yeah, I, you know, I, I think it's fine. I'm not really too worried about, you know, having perfect traffic. That's not really the point of the scenario. Although it is going to annoy the hell out of me is, is what it's going to do. So I'm probably still going to try and tackle it because it could be better. It just, it just could be, it could be better and I'd like it to be better. And honestly, I'm thinking that we're probably just going to want to make another highway connection at some point, you know, buy one of these tiles up here or something and connect the highway in a, in a different way or something like that. I'm not really 100% sure, but we'll figure it out. Uh, now, what I do want to do is I really want to get into boosting this population, right? Because we just need 20,000 more people, you know? We, that's that's kind of all we need. So I feel, I feel like we should just kind of get it out of the way. You know, I don't want to rush the scenario. I, I'm kind of enjoying building this city, especially this bit. I love, I love how this area looks. But at the same time, I do, I do like the idea of beating the challenge. So here's, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that we come over here, right? And I'm thinking we get ourselves an avenue. And I'm thinking we go from about here now that might be kind of close to the avenue but that's or the the highway but that's okay i'm thinking we go from about there <clears throat> and i'm thinking we go like that right and that's okay we're gonna bring this guy out to about there and i want to curve that in in whatever way i can hope hopefully yeah that way I th i've got something in my throat man i'm trying to not like cough and clear my clear my throat in 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 a video like because it's just I don't know, it feels very unprofessional, but I'm sitting here like words are catching in my throat because I need to clear my throat. I could just put a cut into the video. Oh, I've just noticed something. If I get this tile down here, I can push this avenue straight through there and we can kind of have these roads run parallel curve and meet this one. And I think that'd be really cool. How do I get that tile is my question. So we need 4,000 ish, four and a half thousand more people. We kind of need four and a half thousand more people. That's, 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 that's going to be essential is, is what it's going to be. So let's do some D zoning just to, uh, just to kick things off a little bit here and just very, very simply try and get 4,000 extra people into all of this space. So take out that, take out you guys. We'll leave the low density commercial there just for now, because I don't think it's going to be I don't think it's going to be too beneficial to uh, replace it right now anyway. But I want to take all of these guys out of here. And I'm just going to replace them with, with high density stuff. So like this, just the entire way, I guess up to there as well. Well, maybe not up to there. Maybe we'll leave that one. Because I think we can do some parks in those corners. And I think that'll be pretty cool. Um, we can kind of do the same in all of these spaces too, I think. So we'll just rezone that entire area. And I think that'll be enough to give us the the population boost that we kind of need here, right? Um, I'm thinking that should be enough. We should be able to get 5,000 people into some of that space, maybe. I don't actually know. I, I'm not really... I'm not really too sure how much each building can can hold. I've never really paid attention to it. It'd be nice if we could get what we needed though, because I'd really like to run this straight through. But regardless, what I'm thinking we will do is we can go ahead and turn this guy into a, a single lane road. And I'm thinking I'm going to do the same up here because, well, I don't know if we want to do that. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll see. Let's Let's do something like this. Uh, so this guy's going to go up to about there and this guy. Yeah. So a single lane road, I think was the right, was the right call here. This guy's going to go to about there. We could bring this over. I'm thinking we're just going to just extend it like that and that'll be okay. So I think a single lane road there is fine. I think down here, I'm hoping we can kind of get away with doing the same thing. 
I'd like the zoning to be pretty... I'd like it to be pretty compact down here, to be, to be completely honest. So, something like that. And let's see, something like this. Now, that is going to put the zoning right against the highway, but I think that's okay, because we can use that to kind of hide the highway a little bit. And I don't mind that. I think we're going to be waiting a while for the population to get to where I need it to be. So I'm just going to come out here and do a bit more zoning. I've already put the pipes down, so I didn't forget to do that. And I think we are just going to throw in some zoning. Now, what I think we could do is throw a bit of commercial right there. And I think that'll be okay. I think I'm going to do some offices just here as well. And I'm going to do offices right about there as well and I think that'll be okay just as a little bit of work out here for people to do then what I'm gonna do is just fill up the entire space with residential zoning because that's pretty much all this was meant to be we do have some crossings which is good so people can walk through these areas but what I'm thinking we can also do is throw some services out here just just kind of looking at it as well I think some services are probably gonna be needed especially this far away from everything else so Let's do a fire station there, and let's do a police station right about there. And that should be pretty good. I, I think that'll be good for us. In terms of medical, though, we, we can fit a hospital in here. And we can do it relatively central, too, actually looking at it. So I think I wasn't gonna, but I think we will just do a hospital kind of right there. And it looks a little rough around the edges, but I think that's fine. I'm, I'm not really too worried about that. It'll be good. It's good coverage. It's everything they're going to need. In terms of education, I mean, I guess, I guess we could do some elementary schools out here. I'm not really sure where exactly to put them. Maybe, maybe a couple back to back, just there and there would be a bit of an idea. In terms of high schools, I mean, we could do one sort of there as well, right in the heart of the area. And then in terms of further education, I mean... I'll be honest with you, we're, we're just going to do, we're probably just going to extend the buses and uh, have people kind of, you know, do that whole business, you know, go around via, via bus is, uh, is what I'm going to have them do. So we'll do that. We'll have this sort of come down to there, I guess. And I think that'll be fine. This guy, I think we'll not bother extending. That's going to be temporary anyway. That's that's not going to be the permanent solution for this. And honestly, now that we have this extra platform here, I'm probably going to have to bring some metro down into this area too. You know, we've done this whole metro overhaul thing today, and we've done some changes to buses, and we've got this new area, but I've also just had a bit of a thought. We should try and get like a civilian highway, pedestrian highway thing in here. Because... I just feel like it wouldn't be a bad idea, you know, extend those, those guys up there, bring this pedestrian path all the way down here, because the thing is, that's going to give people a lot of options when it comes to getting around, you know, it's just, it just seems like it kind of makes sense, it seems like it wouldn't be a terrible idea to, like, have these different connections in here for people to, you know, go and just go on foot essentially to get to where they're going they're not the neatest connections but i think they'll do the job because i can go from like say here right this area has no zoning right now it's going to have a little bit but what we can also do with it is potentially push a pedestrian path underneath there as well connecting it to there and then we could push that pedestrian path straight through and now pedestrians don't have to like go the whole way around to get to the other side of of that highway uh, we could do sort of the same thing here. We could push straight through that area, which honestly, putting a path there is, is probably a pretty big deal. So that's going to give us some great connections. Uh, over this way, we probably don't need to go too crazy with it because we have some connections there. But I think that'll be kind of useful, to be completely honest. I really do, because... It's, yeah, I mean, immediately, there's people just kind of going every which way on that thing. And that's kind of what I want them doing. I want them being able to hop onto that pedestrian highway and, and kind of go about doing whatever it is they want to do. Now, 
Unfortunately, this side's giving me a little bit of trouble, which I'm not thrilled about. Uh, it's because the highway is... What way is that highway working? It's because, I guess, these guys are four lanes and bigger. I, I'm not really sure what's going on with that. I guess what we could do with this, though, is just tunnel underground, right? So we could do that, bring it to here, and bring it back up to ground level. And it's maybe a little weird to have a section of it that's not, you know, connected to the rest, but that's still a way for people to kind of get around and they can just cross the road and hop onto the pedestrian highway. So I think that's okay. And I think what I'm also going to do is put a little connection there so those guys can kind of cross over from one side to the other without having to go up into that area. And I, I just, I feel like that's going to be kind of useful. I feel like that should lower the amount of traffic that we have. Because it does look like there's a really good number of people using that. And it really does look like there's a good number of people using that. That's what I want. You know, I want all those people using it. I'm thinking even here, right? Even this little spot. If I could go, well, I can't go straight through. But if I could, that'd be great. Uh, can't go straight through there either. So what if we went from like here? Or here? Somewhere? I don't know why I don't know why I can't go under that. Um that's fine, I guess. We can we can sort of do a, a an underground section here. No, we can't. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't want to let me do this. Um I'd like to bring something through there though. I think that'd be kind of cool to go like from sort of over here by the, the metro stuff. Kind of connect it up and do something interesting with it. So we'll just we'll just go straight through that building. And we'll see if that ends up being any use to us. We could kind of do something over here as well. Connect those guys. We can bring this guy kind of around as well. We can bring this guy sort of into uh, into the fold, as it were. So doing something like that, just connect everything up. Let everybody kind of go where they need to go. We could not really do much else elsewhere with that right now. But I think that'll be cool. I do. I, I think it'll be cool letting people just, like, walk around. I'm hoping that that's going to reduce traffic. It's probably not. It's probably only going to reduce the amount of people using buses and metro, but whatever. I think it's, it's, it's useful. I'm also somehow sitting with 29,900 people, which is less than we had before we built this area and upgraded this area. I'm not sure how I've managed to do that, but somehow we have less people. Anyway, I think it's fair to say that today has been a relatively productive one, even if most of it, not most of it, but a good chunk of it was spent talking about my antics in Germany and the fact that imported versions of energy drinks don't taste exactly the same as the versions that are made here in the UK. With that in mind, though, thank you very much for watching, everybody. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.